What's up everyone? Today is a very exciting day because today we are going to start working on the goat milking parlor. We are kind of on a time crunch for kidding season. We've got to finish the milk parlor. We've got a fence around the milk parlor. We have to fence around the kidding area and we've got to build our kidding stalls. So those are kind of what our mission is for this next month because kidding starts the first week of March. So, you know, no rush or anything. <laughs> So today our goal is to get the flooring down in the new parlor as well as get the, we're not going all the way up to the ceiling with the walls, we're just going about four feet up. So I guess kind of like a pony wall. And then to get all of the milking equipment in there and some shelves so we can use it for extra feed storage as well. Now, of course it is Saturday at the time of filming this, which means our local hardware store closes at one. So if we need any other things, we need to know by one o'clock so we can go and get that. So we don't have to drive an hour to a big box store. And it's supposed to rain this afternoon, so no rush. So let's get all of the animals fed so we can get to work. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life, I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take my hand So pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Yeah, we only get one life. I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. All right, y'all. We made it just in time. It is almost time to do evening chores as the goats have let us know, but we are pretty much done with the building portion of this. So we've got the floors in, the walls, the milking stands. We've got a cabinet for storage for all the goat supplies, a shelf for extra feed. And then the only thing we really still have to do is mount the simple pulse right here somehow. We've got it here. I've just got to order a mounting system or we may just build something to set it on. We haven't decided yet, but she is done. All 
All right, y'all. So phase one is officially done. We are done with the inside. Now all we have left to do is we're going to fence around the parlor so we can create kind of a goat chute from inside the paddock. Then we have to put solar panels on the roof so we can have power out here. We already have the battery and inverter for the milker and the panels. We just got to put it all together. And then we've got to finish the kidding stalls in the barn and fence off a portion of the paddock for all of the kids. Just just a few things left to do until we kid. Just just a few, of course, and it's going to be February, which means it's going to be chilly. But I'd rather it be cold than super hot and fencing. But I guess we need to get all these hangry, hangry girls fed because Pippi's revenge is very loud. <laughs> what are you doing, Akave? You are freaking adorable, you know that? Oh, okay, we'll get you guys fed. Hold on. quieter once you guys have food in your mouths. Hi gravy. Yeah, you are so patient. Here you go. Several days later. All right, y'all. Uh, so it's been a few days since we finished the inside of the shed. We got it done just in the time for it to start raining. And yesterday, Jesse pulled down all of the cattle panels that we had out in the front pasture when we had the rabbits up there. And we just reuse them to make a fence around here. So that way when we bring the goats in, this gate, they can't just take off and go whatever which way. Which is what they would usually do. They're kind of entrapped in here. But now that we've got the fence up, we're going to get snow tonight. So we've got to get everything that is in the garage in here that's supposed to be in here. Hi Gravy, I know you want to come play. So let's head over to the garage and start loading stuff up. So this is what we are kind of working with. All of the goat stuff and some cattle stuff is over here as well. But I've just kind of just been accumulating everything over here. My ultrasound machine isn't even over here. It's another part of the garage. So we're going to try to consolidate everything into one area. So let's go. But first, we gotta get the feed that is in my cart out so we can use the cart. Man, I always had stories about the city line and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow The people I met you never get to know I kinda miss this place I used to live back home Cause up here it's pregnant Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond I'd like to go back where I came from Where everybody knows my name my friends are still the same I guess the slow life is just right Like a bonfire on a cold night Hell, and you can keep your nine to five Happy with the simple life So the plan is to get as much stuff as we can in here we're trying to keep this shelf clear for overflow of feed and we also need to keep a shelf for the solar batteries and everything that's going to go in here 
hopefully in the next few weeks. So let's try to organize what we can in here. I think we are about done. I just hung up a couple little metal signs. My father-in-law buys these for me and he had a, cost, a custom one done for us as well with our three little goats at it. It's, got, it's adorable. I mean, it was hanging up outside of my office, but it was starting to rust a little bit. So I think it'll do a lot better in here and it just gives it a little bit more charm. So over here, we still have all the shelves for extra feed when we buy our bulk feed. And then eventually I'm going to get like some peel and stick wallpaper to probably cover this cause it's not very pretty. And if I'm gonna spend a lot of time in here, I want it to be pretty, you know? It's not a priority, but eventually. So this is the cabinet. I do wanna get a couple more storage bins just to organize it a little bit better. But up here we've got like, our blood tubes if you have livestock it's inevitable you'll need these for something these are actually for the goats for their yearly blood draw and then i had to get these for the cows for an upcoming video and then here we have our sharps with our scalpels sutures syringes needles all that and then we've got our warmers i do use a herbal dewormer but i do have chemical warmer on hand for emergencies and then a little battery powered milker I have in case for some reason we have a goat come down with mastitis I can use that to milk her and not have to use the simple pulse and then just some antibiotics and emergency stuff for the goats of course the gloves we've got coccidia treatments our antiseptics emergency drenches all that stuff and of course a basket full of cute goat outfits and extra collars because necessities and then some stuff for the cows that they they absolutely love and then some ammonia chloride probiotics all that fun stuff and then down here we've got like hoof trimming stuff our tattoo stuff ultrasound stuff all of our extra bottles are now in here stored away i do need to go through our kidding box and clean out that and restock it for kidding season that'll be a whole another video and then we have some emergency like mastitis stuff and cattle stuff down at the bottom. So that is it. And then of course, I gotta find some place for Cleo's hat. If you haven't seen that short, this is Cleo's hat. It's her absolute fave. All right y'all, so that is it. We are officially done with phase one of the kidding area now we've just got to get to the kidding stalls and measure out for fencing and get all that stuff so we can start on that we'll probably take a few days off because we are supposed to get snow tonight and when it snows everything shuts down so we at least get a few days off but if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button kidding season is right around the corner so you don't want to miss all of that and we'll see you guys in the next one bye